Yo, what up guys? So in today's video, what I want to do is show you a very, very good website that you can practice your ethical hacking skills or hacking skills on actual virtual machines that are hackable. So basically, I only found out, found out about this website yesterday at night. Well, technically today and the morning, which is like 4 a.m. So basically, vonhub.com is a very, very good website. People basically, what they do is upload their own virtual machines that are exploitable with usually a lot of exploits and there's also difficulties that you can get. There are difficulties that you can get a website, sorry, a virtual machine. Now I just wanted to mention that there's levels of this, so this is basic. So I recommend this if you're a, if you're a beginner. If you're more advanced, you can always get a more advanced virtual machine. So this is for beginners. As I said, there's levels, there's like easy, medium, hard and extreme and basically more. So make sure you check it out and check the description because in the description below of the virtual machine, it tells you what sort of a level it is. You can download this virtual machine from here. Make sure you download from this website only. Why? Because it can affect your operating system, right? It can, it's also because you're downloading software, it can damage your operating system. So make sure you check MD5 hash or SHA1 hash to make sure you're actually downloading what you're downloading. I've showed you a video, I'll put it somewhere on the on the right screen and the suggested the how to check hashes I've showed you before. So basically just download it, install it, run it, and there you go, you're off to go. Um, virtual, as I said, Vonhub is a very, very good website. Make sure you check this website out and download some virtual machines. The important thing is whenever you're gonna run these virtual machines, you need to turn off your host computer's Wi-Fi. Why? Because if you run a vulnerable virtual machine on your computer and you're connected to the internet, you're sort of exposing your security. So what you should do is make sure that you disable your Wi-Fi, disable your Wi-Fi for the time being. You don't want to expose, expose yourself. There's no need for you to get exposed. Just turn off the Wi-Fi, network these virtual machines together and make sure it works. Network them together, I'll show you how to network them together. What you do is go to your terminal and you write a fconfig. Now, the IP address should be the same as on the other virtual machine. This meaning that it should be 192.168.15 and another ending. It should be between one, no, not one, sorry, two and 254. Why would it not be one? Because default gateway. So it'd be 192. 168.15.133, for example, that's my IP, that's my Ubuntu machine address, right? So you can do the same thing as basically me. You can have a 192.168.15.130 and the virtual machine of the victim would be 133. How do you do this? Well, if you go to the right corner, edit connections, and you need to do is just like go take Ethernet or just set up a plus here, IPv4 and manual. Now, as you can see, it's automatic DHCP. Now all you do is just add and change the IP address. I'm not gonna do it because it works for me. But whatever you need to do, you need to do it. If you're having any problems, make sure to check out my video about networking virtual machines, which I've posted, it was a while ago. I think it was, I don't know, six, seven months ago when I've posted it. So make sure to check out, to check that out. If you have any problems, make sure to ask me in the comments or ask me on Twitter, I'll be able to I don't know, create another video for you if that if that's what it needs to be done. Right, so I just wanted to show you quickly, this will, I don't want to make this video too long. So as you can see, I'm running some script or at nmap scan with vulnerability scanner. And as you can see, we get some information. This information is very, very useful. And the most important thing that is important to us are the ports. Now, I've said this on Twitter, uh, make sure you actually do follow me on Twitter, sign up to my newsletter and check out my Udemy courses. If you're a beginner, you can get straight direct information. And also if you require any additional information, make sure, sorry, if you want to contact me and you require any additional, you know, consultation or anything, make sure to contact me on Twitter. I'll be able to help you. So port 21 is FTP, file transfer protocol, which means basically we can upload files and we can upload files, folders, whatever you want on it. It's basically, it's a, basically an online storage, just like a cloud, right? But it's, it's by FTP. 
Port 20 to SSH, that's one of the most important ports. If you ever see port 22 open and it's not configured correctly, that's a very, very big threat. Same with Telnet. If, the, if port 22, 23, which is SSH and Telnet are not configured correctly, it's a big, big problem. These two ports are very, very important and they are very dangerous. Port 80, if usually if a website Sorry, if a certain device is running port 80 and has it open, it usually means that it is a web server. 8080 can mean the same thing. So, uh, as you can see, there's some additional information and the most important thing for us is, oh, <laughs> as you can see already, because I already exploited this machine, it says FTP, pro FTP backdoor, this installation has already been backdoored, which means I have uh, back to the machine, which I have indeed, that's true. Let's go down. Uh, there's no more explore, nothing to explore. And there's one more thing I want to show you, which is secret. Now this is HTTP enum slash secret. This is, you can run a Dirt Buster or a Go Buster, and I'll show you the same thing. Potentially interesting folder, which is indeed a interesting folder because it allows you to further exp exploration and exploitation. So, and basically that's it for the information. So as I said, I'll be in the next video, what I'll be doing is making a walkthrough, showing you how to exploit this machine, showing you different stuff, what you can do, and many, many other stuff. So make sure you watch this video. The video I'm planning to post is during the weekend, most likely during the weekend. Now, I hope you enjoyed my content. Make sure to check out my channel a couple of days because I'll be posting the walkthrough of this virtual machine, which means you can learn stuff from me and you can also, if you need extra help, you can just watch this video and try and hack yourself, which means you can always learn something new. And that's it. Hope you have a nice day.